and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. China delivered Norinco's WZ-551IFVs and VP-11MRAPs to Mali. With a rumble and a roar, the Malian army welcomed a new fleet of military vehicles into their fold. This second batch, a generous offering from China's Norinco Group, includes the dynamic WZ-551-wheeled infantry fighting vehicles and the resilient VP-11MRAP. Imagine the sight, a colossal convoy of no less than 70 trucks, each bearing the weight of brand-new, top-of-the-line military vehicles. The stars of this impressive show are none other than the WZ-551 and VP-11 MRAPs. These mechanical marvels were last spotted docked at the port in Conakry, gleaming under the African sun. Dive into the heart of an expansive arms deal, recently inked between the military government of Mali, led by Colonel Asimi Goita, and China. This robust package includes at least 100 VP-11 4x4 lightweight MRAPs, WZ-551 APCs, and Lynx CS, VP-11 ATVs. All these military assets are produced by Norinco, a renowned Chinese weapons manufacturer, and are aimed at bolstering Mali's efforts against insurgency. Let's put this into a global context. The WZ-551 armored vehicle, a key component of this deal, has found favor beyond China's borders. Top on the list of international operators is Sri Lanka with 190 combat vehicles, Myanmar with 76, Oman with 50, and Chad with 42. The APCs, or Armored Darlings, are touring globally, with stops in places like Algeria, Angola, Burundi, Cameroon, Pakistan, Iran, and Tanzania, among others. Imagine the Malian military, now accelerating their fight against insurgency, powered by the latest military technology. The acquisition of these vehicles isn't just an upgrade, it's a game-changing leap forward. The enhanced response speed and effectiveness that they offer will be a crucial shield for the safety of Malian citizens. But hold on, this isn't a solitary move. It's a piece of a larger puzzle, a strategic plan unfolding. The recent acquisition comes as part of a grander scheme to fortify Mali's military stance against insurgents. This is even more crucial in the wake of the withdrawal of French and European forces from the country. As a melting pot of armored vehicles, Mali boasts equipment from around the globe, each piece playing a crucial role in the country's ongoing battle against terrorism. In a major power boost last year, the Malian military added an impressive array of new armored vehicles to their arsenal. This included a fleet of Norinco VN2C 6x6 infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, gifted by China, a handful of Norinco VN2C BMPs, a contingent of 50 robust Kia KM450 military trucks, versatile wheeled Dongfeng EQ2050 vehicles, six nimble BRDM2 amphibious reconnaissance vehicles, a few formidable BTR 78x8 armored personnel carriers and a squadron of six Puma M36 APCs. Apart from China, Russia is also supplying weapons to Mali. On the 19th of January 2023, Mali gets more warplanes, helicopters from Russia. Mali's military rulers received more warplanes and helicopters from Russia Thursday, an AFP correspondent noted the latest in a series of deliveries from its new top military and political ally. AFP counted eight planes and two helicopters at a ceremony attended by Russian Ambassador Igor Gromyko and the head of Mali's junta, Colonel Asimi Goita. Mali's military said the shipment included Sukhoi Su-25 attack planes designed to support ground troops, and the Czech-designed Albatross L-39. This is the latest in a series of similar Russian deliveries of military equipment, following others in March and August, 2022. The West African country has been fighting a jihadist insurgency as well as a political and humanitarian crisis since 2012. After the colonels currently in power staged their 2020 coup, relations with former colonial power France quickly broke down, and Russia has stepped in to fill the void.
Meanwhile, on August 25, 2023, Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali form military pact. The pact allows Mali and Burkina Faso to provide military assistance to Niger in the event of military intervention against the Putschists there. The junta in Niger, which seized power in a military coup on July 26, has formed a military alliance with the neighboring countries of Burkina Faso and Mali, whose rulers also seized power in coups. The three countries' foreign ministers made a joint announcement in the army. Niger junta leader General Abdurrahman Tiani has authorized the armed forces of Mali and Burkina Faso to intervene on Nigerian territory in case of attack, the foreign ministries of the three countries said in a joint statement on Thursday. The pact in question allows Mali and Burkina Faso to provide military assistance to Niger in the event of military intervention against the Putschists there. A similar agreement already exists between Burkina Faso and Mali. The agreement also calls for the three countries to take joint action against terrorist groups active in their countries and secure their borders. Following the July 26 coup in Niger, the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, activated a standby force and threatened violence if the democratically elected President Mohamed Bazoum was not reinstated and constitutional order restored. For years, the countries in the Sahel region have been threatened by various terrorist militias, some of which have sworn allegiance to Al-Qaeda or the Islamic State. Under Bazoum, Niger was considered one of the last strategic partners of the West in the fight against the advance of Islamist terrorists in the Sahel. Niger is the fourth nation in West Africa since 2020 to suffer a coup, following Burkina Faso, Guinea and Mali. The juntas in Burkina Faso and Mali have said that any military intervention in their neighbor would be considered a declaration of war against their countries. On the 19th of August 2023, Burkina Faso, Mali send warplanes to Niger. The warplanes were deployed to support Niger in the event of any military intervention by the regional bloc ECOWAS which says it was ready to send troops to reverse last month's coup in Niger. Mali and Burkina Faso have dispatched warplanes to Niger in a show of solidarity against possible military intervention by the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.